everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Chris you've reached Chris Loves Lux and I know I've been gone all week I didn't drop a video since Monday uh, but I'm been crazy busy with work it has not allowed me to do anything other than work but today is all about filming I'm filming multiple videos and I start I didn't even plan this particular video but Natasha Denona is having 20% off her entire site. So I wanted to quickly put something together to just talk about what the things I would recommend you get if you don't already have um, it from Natasha Denona. 20% off the entire site. That includes the new lip pencils that just dropped. That I'm glad I didn't get because now I'm going to get them. Not all of them. I'm going to get the five beige ones. But we'll talk about that later. Um, but... There are some things that if you do not already have it, I do recommend. I do have pretty much everything from an eyeshadow perspective, the big eyeshadows. And then um, I have several mini ones. So we're going to take this time to go over it. I also have a lot of I Need a New lipsticks. Um, I'm wearing one now, but I'm wearing it with a MAC chestnut liner because I don't have a Natasha liner yet. Um... Before we get into it though, if you haven't done so already, please join the Chris Loves Lux family by hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell just to make sure you're always notified when I upload a video. Also, you can follow me on IG at Chris Loves Lux. With all that said, let's just get all into it. If I start to sound a little nasally, I'm just starting to feel a little under the weather from me not wearing coats, but that's a whole nother story. So, um, I am actually going to start off with one of my favorite, favorite Natasha Denona products that I highly recommend everybody get. Um, and that's this right here. The I Need a New Glow Highlighter is amazing. I actually, if you guys recall, I put it in my best of 2020. It was in a favorites video. I mean, I really enjoy this highlighter. I actually have it on now. As you can probably see. Um... I love this. I love this highlighter. I think, I honestly, I put it as the best highlighter of 2020. I like it better than Charlotte Tilbury's um, uh, highlighter that came out. I like it better than Mother Pat. You know I love me some Mother Pat. But this one right here, this took the cake. So I'm actually going to be purchasing one to put in my giveaway. I'm, I'm, I have a box here of 1K giveaway. Um, to celebrate me um, when I hit my 1,000 subscribers. And I think this is a must-have. I'm glad it's on sale. So I said, oh, you know what? You know, let, let me grab one. So you can expect to see that along with a bunch of other stuff in the in the giveaway. Um, as far as blushes are concerned from Natasha Denona, I have this right here, which is what I'm wearing today. And this is the Natasha Denona Mini Bloom highlighting blush and it is a and i tend to like matte blushes you guys probably know that already but this is this is a shimmery blush i actually really enjoy it as you could probably tell because it's really like dirty this is and i didn't pack a lot on i just wanted a nice little wash of color on my cheeks because my eyes as you can tell we'll get into what's on my eyes because it is natasha um I just wanted a wash of color on my cheeks. I really enjoy this. This is the perfect size for travel. Um, I did use it when we were traveling. This was one of the things that I always put in my bag. This I got last year, even though it came out way before that. And that's the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. This right here has blushes and highlighters. These are cream products. These are powder. And as you can tell here, she has a little um, section or insert covering so that it doesn't, the, this doesn't mess up the cream blush. I don't pull this often, but as you guys probably remember from my declutter video, I didn't declutter that many blushes. So I still have a whole lot of blushes. So if it's not in the front of my drawer and I have to pull it all the way back from the way it's shaped, I always forget I have it. So I have to put it in the front in order for me to use it more because I do, in fact, enjoy it. And the shelf life on this one is 18 months. So even though this is a cream-based blush, it still has an 18-month shelf life, which, you know, for most cream products, we don't normally get. 
I do enjoy this one and I do recommend this one and I do believe it's still in stock and I have my iPad out um, so that I can just double check as I'm going through things if it's in stock. Um, yes, yes it is and for $44. So definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this one as well. Has a highlighter and everything all in one. Now, that's it. That's all the cheap products I have for from Natasha. Let's get into eyes. And I'm going to start with these. So, from the um, Five Pan Palettes, I only have two. I have Coral and Cranberry. And I recommend them both. My favorite is the Cranberry. I pull this out when I'm in a rush and I just want something really simple on my eyes even though it's simple i have done a simple look with this and i when it, simple for me means not one and done because i tend not to do that but um what i will do is i'll i'll put this in the uh as a transition in this on my leg and let me tell you the look i have even because you know you have your mask on and it's like this and i was at um, the Sephora and Short Hills and all the woman kept saying was I love your eyeshadow and I was like thank you and in my head I'm like this was one of the most simplest looks I put together I do enjoy this cranberry um, palette I I, I I like the formulation of Natasha's shadows as a whole but this one right here this one was a banger for me the coral one I don't haven't used as much I'm gonna be honest with you this I just use to kind of blow out this shade when I'm trying to blend out my transition. But this middle shade right here, I don't want to start swatching y'all because we'll be here all day. But this middle shade right here, I really enjoy and I enjoy this one as well. So these are the only two that I have. I will be picking up more now that she's having a 20% off sale because <laughs> why not? Um, but when we get to the five pan minis, let me let me i'm gonna start off with my favorite one right off the bat and it's this one this is the mini gold palette my daughter even loves it and she hates colors um she likes very neutral calm looks this right here this one i recommend anybody get everybody needs to have mini gold in their collection i'm actually gonna get another one um because i do that kind of stuff but I do enjoy it. I'd recommend everybody get this one. I really, really, really enjoy this one. I know y'all, no swatches. I'm trying my best. When I get to the big ones, I might swatch a couple. But for these little ones, we're going to not swatch. And understand, these little ones will end up being $20. $20. That's it. So I say that's it. I know y'all probably like, really, Christine? But... $20 for this and it's going to last a long time. This one for instance is the mini retro. I need this to come in um, one of the bigger bigger palettes. Not the big huge one. Maybe this size but I need this this whole thing brings me so much joy and I know a lot of people like oh I didn't get it because I didn't think it was going to show up on me. It showed up on me with no problem. I actually like this better than this Zendo palette. This Zendo palette gave me trouble. One of them hit paint, hard pan. This shade right here, hard pan. I had no problems with this. You know I love me a green. This is a different type of kind of like muted green. I really, really enjoy using this palette. This is another one that I use when I'm really not trying to get any elaborate look. Something really simple, day-to-day -day look. This mini retro, everything. That's my second favorite um, mini one. Just trying to let me just make sure I'm checking to see. Yep, everything is still in stock. At least it looks like it. Yes. Okay. Just wanted to double check. Now, since I have mini retro on my hand, I'll just go over to this again. I I it was okay, and I can link that video above when this came out with the two lipsticks and everything. But this shade right here was giving me trouble it really really was it was giving me trouble so um it is slightly hard pan so i don't reach for this i don't 
This one is newer to my collection. This is the mini star palette. <laughs> You'll probably see my fingers all in it because I've already been using all of it, right? I really enjoy this palette as well and I would recommend this one. I really enjoy this mini star palette. Now, this one here is the mini glam palette. Now, this is a nice for a nice neutral look with a little sparkle, just a little bit of sparkle in it. Definitely, definitely another banger. I like this one as well. I do. And this is a lot different from the glam palette itself, which I'll pull up, you know, after we're finished with the mini ones. But I do recommend this one. The last one that I would recommend is the mini sunset palette. I do have the large one, um, but this mini one suits me just fine. I don't even reach for the large one. This one is enough. You could tell I still don't even use it a, a lot. But if I had the choice between this one and the large one, I don't reach for the large one, to be quite honest. I keep it because I'm a, I, I'm, I am a collector of, of Natasha when it comes to certain things. I'm a little mad about the trichrome, but we're not going to talk about that one. Um, not in this one. I will not be recommending that one. It's still up there along with the Tropic palette and the Sunset palette. Those are stayed up there because they don't call on me. You guys, if you haven't already, I will link the tri my my issues with my the tri trio chrome trio chrome palette. Anyway, um, those are the only minis that I would recommend. I do have the mini tropic. Don't bother. I have the mini Leela, and this one is okay, right? So I found it though for twelve dollars and fifty cents at Sephora when they were having it. What whether it's twenty dollar worthy would be totally up to you. Um, I didn't, I wouldn't have paid the 20 for it, um, because I have the large Leela and it, that was fine, but I do have the mini Leela, Leela, but this Tropic one and the large Tropic, just stay away from anything, Natasha, that say Tropic for right now. She need a do-over for this one. Okay. Now let's talk about the smaller 15 pans. So I'm going to go in order of how they came out. So this one is the Sunrise palette. Very pretty palette. I actually, when this came out in, I want to say it was 2019. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I believe it was 2019. In the summer this came out, I actually ended up taking this on vacation with me. Um, uh, one of my tropical vacations I took with me because of these looks here for me to play with, especially this color, this little yellowish color here with the little hint of orange undertone. I, I enjoyed using those two colors on vacation, so, but I've never pulled for it since. Maybe because so many eyeshadow palettes were coming out in 2019 and then again in 2020, we had some more eyeshadow palettes drop. I just didn't go back to this, uh, but opening it and looking at it, and that's what the thing about these videos, you go and, you, and you're looking at trying to rank or you're looking at trying to give recommendations and you realize like, oh, I, I haven't pulled this out a lot. So I do need to probably pull this out more. I won't right now, but because I have others that I just like to reach for more. But this wasn't a bad palette. If you like this color scheme, I, I would get it because it's going to be $53 if I'm not mistaken. And I'll look it up for you right now. Fifty-two. So they're fifty-two. All of them this size is fifty-two dollars today. All right. And this sale ends um, Monday at eleven fifty-nine Eastern Standard Time. So um, you want to make sure you take a look make your decisions and make sure you don't miss out right because this is like better than the sephora sale because things are in stock a lot of times with sephora is hit or miss they'll have it in stock they won't stuff like that so when the actual brand is giving a sale that's kind of when i want to uh get it because then you know you'll have it and then that's that 
The next one that came out, if I'm remembering right, was last year. This was this is the Love Palette. Came out right around uh, this time, actually a little later, it was around Valentine's Day of 2020. And I jumped on it because, well, FOMO, to be quite honest with you, it was just my fear of missing out that I got this. I did use it once, maybe twice. And then I didn't use it anymore because I think at the same time this came out, did Mothership 8 come out at the same time? I mean, 7. The Divine Rose 2 might have came out at the same time or somewhere around there. Now, that, that's it. Took all my focus away from this. So I haven't touched it since I bought it, you know, which is a shame because now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, wow, I should have picked this up more. Um, do you need it in your collection? I think a lot of these colors you may already have. So I would say if you're a lover of pinks and purplish, these type of colors, then of course. But if you don't lean towards it, that's all you're really going to get out of this palette. So I would say leave it alone. I think the Sunset palette, Sunrise palette, is a little more unique with the yellows. You still have your pinks, but you have your yellows in there. I just think this one, right, is um, a bit more universal or diverse in looks from this one versus the Love palette. After that came this bronze palette. I'm, I think, am I right? I think this this came last year as well. Yeah, right around the summertime. This one came out. Um, I did do a video, it was like one of my first or second videos when I did my channel in started my channel in July. So it must have came out in July. Um, it's all right. A lot of people love this palette, but I have these shades over and over again in my collection and i'm going to tell you that there it's a, it's a great formulation let let me not you know i'm not telling you that it's not a great formulation it's it's natasha denona right i had no issues with performance or anything um but i just when you have the all of the large ones, I'm like, okay, I got this, but what am I using it for, right? So I haven't really touched it. I mean, it's dirty because it crumples up a lot. I, I might have used it two times as well, maybe. And I left it alone. Um, that's it. I mean, I might, I don't know. I might, I, I'm about to say I might let my daughter, do, but she doesn't go for these colors like that either. So I, I don't know. But anyway, it's in my collection. Now, let's talk about this one. This is the Glam Palette. Came out, I think it was around September, October of 2020. Now, mine looks a little different from how it originally comes because I did pop out the shadows and mix them up. I was a bit perturbed, as you'll probably remember if you saw my video, and I can link that one as well. I was a bit perturbed because of the, the shade names. To be quite honest, don't tell me what to use for crease or this or this, especially when you're going to put an ashy ass shade in there. But anyway, I got over that and I've used this palette more than any of the other smaller ones that are this size. Um, Once I moved it around and I, I mean, you have no issues with performance with any of them, but this one, believe it or not, um... I don't have a lot of cool tones in my collection because I don't wear a lot of cool tones. I always steered away from them for some reason, but this one right here made me a cool tone lover. There is a little bit, a little warm, warmer tones in here as well. But overall, um, I think that this was a very well thought out as far as shade selections go for the metallics. I like the fact that there's a, a little dark. I won't call this a matte black because I don't think it is. I've had better blacks, but I would have liked to see a deeper brown in here. Maybe instead of this brow bone, well, it's called brow bone, but instead of this light one, just something a little more chocolate than this one in here. Um, be sent for those like myself that like to have a um, nice dark outer corner. But other than that, I mean, I've used this shade in my as a transition shade. 
Um, I've even used this shade as a transition shade. So you can play with it. So I have picked this up more. So if you're a cool tone lover, I would say, yes, you should get this. Out of all of the smaller ones, this one, I think you'll get a lot of use out of, especially for um, red carpet looks where you're going for a silverish type look, but with a bold red lip. I've done that with this palette. Um, you'll get a lot of use out of this one. Um, people will say, they'll disagree with me and say you can get more use out of the bronze one, but with a collection, I have a lot of stuff. I have to say another S word. So I pulled, this is, this is more unique. I don't have something like this in my collection, so I just happen to pull it more. Now, Let's talk about these. I say get all of them. These are the Chromium um, Liquid Eyeshadows. I do have this one, which is my favorite one. This is Scarab. This is what I am wearing on my lid today. Um, I did a review on these. There is not one that I dislike, okay? Out of all five that came out, I love all five all five but this one and ultraviolet these two are my favorite but i like them all all of them um the shelf life on these are six months i'm almost sure just double checking yes six months so you know that's the little thing by um liquid eyeshadows right Six month shelf life. That's you know you can get of course more. It's that recommended shelf life. But when you open them a lot, they are going to dry out. I don't. I make sure that when I am applying it, because you you don't need a lot, y'all. So when I'm applying it, I close it back up. And if I happen to need more, then I'll take it out. Or you know I'll just dot some somewhere on either my um, spatula or something. But I try to keep this closed. And it's in a drawer that's sealed. It's actually in one of those that's sealed up. So to try not to have a lot of direct light or anything. I just trying to savor them as long as I can. I don't use them that often, right? Because I have so much. But this eye look right here came from using this and a palette that I am going to show you. But I believe the actual, and I'm checking now. These are, instead of them being $28 a piece, they're $22.40. So, I would recommend, if you're not going to get them all, I'm going to say my two favorite are um, Scarab and Ultraviolet. I will, instead of me swatching these, I will just link the video for these because in that I swatch them I do um, a eye look with all five of them so you can pick which one you may like but I do recommend them highly what did I use with this particular palette is my favorite palette by Natasha Denona which is the Metropolis palette this is my favorite fall winter palette right I keep it to the point where I I clean in between them I'm, I baby this palette so much but this is what I have on today I have one two three four different colors from this and scarab on my eyes um I can't say enough about this look this has kind of a plethora of different this is diversity in a palette let me just put it like that um she thought about it, more about skin tones and you know just playing up on different things and undertones she thought more about in my opinion her customer in this palette than her other ones I know you guys are probably like seriously Christine everybody doesn't like color but you don't have to worry about just the color because honestly if you just look here in this row you have pieces of the bronze palette right if you look in this row you have pieces of the bronze palette again you know i think the glam palette is the only one that you probably could say is not in here but you have pieces of the sunset you have 
um, sunrise. You have pieces of different palettes all in one. This was a very well thought out um, palette. I love this palette. And I highly, if you don't get anything from the sale, get Metropolis. You will not be um, disappointed. Um, I'm telling you, I, you just won't. I can't even say anything else about it. Um, I am going to be starting a new series on my channel. Um, was waiting to the latter part of January to start it because I already started my McGrath Mondays, but it will be called All About the Eyes. If you guys remember, I put it on my community tab. You guys voted to start with Natasha Denona as the featured brand where I will be pulling out my Natasha Denona and creating about three, four looks with different palettes just to play around in it. And I'll be doing one different one brand every week. So um, I am not going to use this palette. At least I'm going to try not to. I probably will anyway. At least I won't create this eye look with it, but I'll create a different one. But you can even use these other shades with this palette in conjunction. I mean, it's sky's the limit with this one, guys. It really, really is. So I highly recommend this palette. Another palette that is an absolute favorite that I pull more. I pull this one and then there's another one that I pull all the time. And, and this is for my daily makeup use and that is the Green Brown 28 plan. Now I know you guys are like, oh, I can get overwhelmed. You know, when I first saw this pack, both the 28 pants, I was like, uh, mm, I don't know. But then I went ahead and bought it when she had the bundle for $310 last year. So I got this one in the, the blue purple. And I like this one. Hands down. Um, mixing it with these. I make some very, very pretty looks. I can show some of those looks when we do all about the eyes. But I mean, some of these, like this one right here. Did I pick the right one? It gives a unique smoky look. So I can use that to smoke out my eyes, right? Um, and then, what was that other one? Look at that. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come with the green. She comes with the green in this palette. And you guys know how I feel about green. And then um, this, like blue ish silverish type shade this palette can bring a eye look all the way to life drop a little of one of the liquid eyeshadows over uh my hands are dirty i wasn't supposed to be swatching y'all so now my hands are dirty but if i take this one which i think is the one i use the most like that color right there it's a simple color, but once you overlay it with one of the liquid eyeshadows, it brings the whole look to life. So if you're interested in it and not intimidated, because I get it, this is a lot of eyeshadow. So if you are not intimidated by it and willing to take that chance while it's on sale, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that green brown palette. I would. I would um, and you'll see it when when I do that video all about the eye series and I feature the Natasha Denona you will see that palette being used because that's how much I enjoy using that palette I'm just checking to see what the price is because it they're not the same price this is the other one which I don't use as often I think I used it twice and that is the blue purple palette right and I don't touch it as much because honestly, I got it after after um, the summer and I, I and I would use these more in the summer than anything else. But these right here, I am intending on using sometime soon just to play around with those colors, but I didn't I picked it up because it was a bundle, but I just haven't played with it as much. I have used the purples because I do tend to use purples a lot, but 
I haven't used the blues, which is what I want to get into. It's what drew me to the palette because if you look at this one and then I'll show you another one. All of these I'm showing, I recommend, but it's based on your taste, right? This is the mini, Le oh, not the mini, this is the Leela palette. This is the big version to the mini. If you open this, they're similar, right? They are similar. Um, so I haven't used the mini, Le I mean, keep saying mini, the Leela in a very long time. This was my second Natasha Denona palette, I think that I purchased ever before when, as I was starting my collection and I, I, I picked it up. I loved it for that week. And then once again, because I have so much, I didn't pick it up as much, but if you like purples, you're going to like this palette. Now, as far as the 28 pans are concerned, the green brown palette is $191 and 20 cents. And the, hmm. okay, wait a minute. Cause that's not 20% off. Isn't it an additional 20? If it is y'all, hold on. Cause everything is marked down. I thought it was prices marked. No, it's not. They're saying 28, 20% off, but the, purple blue palette is $230 it is not 20% off hmm. I'm wondering why that's interesting it's not oh well I, I, I think she would have some explaining to do right because now I need to do some math yeah it's not, but be that as it may, I still would say 191, you can still get this palette. I want the, the, the 230 for the, for the blue purple, I would wait for Sephora, right? I would wait for Sephora to have that on sale, but the 191 for the green brown, I would definitely, definitely get. Now, one of the other ones that I, I do enjoy often is the Biba palette. And the Biba palette is 10320. And basically, it's an everyday palette. I mean, um, there this is a, a all natural, all neutral palette. This is what it is, even though you have a burst of cool tone down here, but it's that everyday working palette like i'm going you if you only wanted one palette that you can use every day you're not into colors you're not into doing all that you like real simple eye looks maybe some one and dones that's when you pull biba right that's when you pull biba right and and it's a perfect palette for those type of days so that's the biba palette Next is the gold palette. Now, I do recommend the gold palette. It is great. I like gold though, as you could probably tell from the yellow I have on. This palette right here is messy though, because you can you can probably see how messy it is. But it has, if you take this out, you have your everyday shades. But these pops of gold that are in here really bring an eye look out i i use this in my holiday look i pull this out for the holidays i haven't touched that yet that one shade i have not touched but all the rest of them i have especially that little mustard shade here i really enjoy using that in my crease um i do like this palette a lot so i would recommend this one as well Last up, before I get into the lipsticks, is the Safari palette. This is an all matte palette. So, those of you that are into Natasha Denona, 
already know her mattes are wonderful they blend easily um most of the time the color payoff is is very good um this i call your complimentary palette this will be a palette i use to compliment another one whether it's natasha or not um i don't tend to do all matte looks so because i don't tend to use all matte looks i don't use this palette alone i will use this palette in conjunction with something else or i can use it in conjunction with a liquid lips a liquid lipstick liquid eyeshadow these are great colors too because a lot of these can be transition colors i know many people like to use transition colors to be the color or close to their skin tone or skin color i don't i don't have to do that i can use this as a transition shade this is a transition shade this one it depends on the eye look right definitely this one as a transition shade um so this for me is a palette full of transition shades or shades i use to blend out my transition shade that's what i would use my lighter colors like this one this one and that one for right not really as a transition shade but let's say i use this i go in and i'll kind of blend it out with this just to give it a little a, just to blend out the outside um and then the darker shades could be my outer corner so this is a great complementary shade and that's i mean palette and that's what i actually do use it for i use it to complement my other palettes but i do recommend it because the mattes are serious some people didn't like the safari palette some people had trouble with getting them to blend i didn't have that issue i don't have that issue and i'm quite happy with that palette now that are that is all <laughs> That's a lot, right? That is all of the um, eye, the eyeshadows and liquid eyeshadows. Now I'm gonna roll up my sleeve, literally. Nice clean hand. And let's just get into these, which are the I Need a Nude lipsticks. So I am going to, I'm just looking up to see how much the lipsticks are. I need, all of them are twenty dollars. The sets are twenty percent off, but these lipsticks are twenty twenty dollars a piece. So I'm gonna start with twenty three P Avril. If I'm saying that right. That's Avril. That's a nice pinky tone, and most of these are either gonna be pink, light different shades of pink this one is a 32 np susanna that's susanna yes i know i have almost all of them i think it's only two that i don't have next one is 14 nb judith it's a new brown and B is a new brown, by the way. Should have said that. And P is new pink. And B new brown. And this one was just 23P. That's just pink. I do like this one. Susanna. Oh no, this one is Judith. Then we have 15 and B for new brown. This is Claudia. That's Claudia. Just to show you, all of them are magnet ma magnetic, which I do enjoy. Then we have 13 NB, which is new brown, and Allison. It's Allison. Then we have. 2B for brown in Lyron. I know I'm probably saying that wrong. There you go. Then 
Then we have 22P, Jennifer. That's Jennifer. You guys all have heard of this one before. This is 33NP, New Pink, in Noah. That's Noah. Noah's pretty. Noah I use often. It used to be in my makeup bag, but I took it out and replaced it with something from Tom Ford. I don't remember what. Um, 11 NB, New Brown, and Natasha. This is a little light, y'all. Natasha needs a liner all the time. I use Natasha for ombre looks. You do a darker shade. I use Natasha for the inner, the inner part of my lip. Then I have... 12 NB for New Brown and Michelle. That's Michelle. Y'all like how it, I got a winding staircase of swatches? I'm terrible, y'all. I'm terrible. This one, NB is a brown and Naya. I actually have Naya on today. nice brown then I have 3B and Sammy and the last one I have is 34 NP for new pink in Yana And I stopped showing y'all the pictures of the actual pictures. I'm sorry, y'all. I should have been holding it up. Now, those are the original ones. Now, we're going to go into the I Need a News that just came out. This one, I have two of them. I did do a video on both of these when I was doing the new collection. This is 10NB Andrea. This was the ashy one, y'all. I was like, whoa. I was... And then this one is 30 NP Maria. And that was Maria. If y'all remember, I was kind of like, oh, we needed something a little deeper for the sisters. Right? Anybody would. You, you don't have to be that pigmented for this to be ashy looking, to be quite honest. But if you look at all the rest of them. And then look at these. These are lighter than almost all of them. I, there's a couple that I don't have that I just knew not to buy because I knew they weren't going to look good on me. So I didn't get them. But if you are looking for, for shades, here's some references. You can't really go wrong with any of them. If you like pinks, you'll know which ones. If you like browns, you'll know which ones to get. Um... So that's everything that I have from Natasha. Um, I am going to be getting a couple of more items like the lip pencils. I will be getting those because I think they'll pair nicely with, with these lipsticks. Um, I'm going to get a few more mini um, Defy Pan eyeshadow palettes as well. And that's it. So let me know down in the comments. What are you thinking? Are you going to get something from the sale? Are you not? You know, what do you have that I might not, that you recommend that I get? Let me know down in the comments. I have a feeling Natasha has something that's about to drop. Just something in my spirit is saying she has something she's about to come out with. Um, I'm just waiting to see what it is. Um, hope, hopefully, it's not the bigger palettes. It's the palettes that are in this size. And hopefully, it's a... It's a nice, bright, colorful palette again. But anyway, let me know what are you looking next? Oh, looking for next from Natasha? What about a bronzer? I know she has those little bronzer quads. I don't have them. Um, maybe I'll get one and, and see how I like it. Um, I didn't flock to it, you know. Um, you looking for more blushes? Let me know individual blushes, maybe. 
can I get another shade of this highlighter because this I need a new glow I would love to have this in more of a pinky shade like a, a or or a gold I know she had that highlighter that gold highlighter but that's why she was mm, that went on sale and it stayed on sale um I I need something like this 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 highlighter um is just everything um the formulation i don't think is going to match any of the ones she's done in the past so that's that's all i have to say today y'all so tell me down in the comments what you thinking are you gonna get something are you not let me know down in the comments um I will be putting a poll up to try to figure out which color schemes you guys want to see and all about the eyes for Natasha Denona, whether you want pinks, blues, purples, greens, whatever. So I'm going to put something out there just to see what everybody's choice of, of looks are. With all of that being said, I want everyone to stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned, and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you at the next one. Bye, guys.